This is Artifacts from Mars, and supposedly we have a picture here of the uh, terrorist wife of the San Bernardino shooter her name is Tashfine Malik. And I say her in quotes. Why? I'm going to show you in uh, a minute. We'll go over this story a little bit. I'm not impressed by the way. I gotta put this on hold for one sec. Okay, I was on a wild goose chase there. Uh, so she came from Pakistan, moved to Saudi Arabia 25 years ago when she was about four years old. When she was older, she likely moved back and forth between Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, according to a source close to Saudi Arabian government. Likely, 2007, she returned to Pakistan to study at Bahudin Zaki Zakiri University in Moulton and stayed until 2012, according to Pakistani intelligence official. She is said to be a brilliant student and not having, was not known to have any religious or political affiliations there. Oh boy. Malik encountered Saeed Rizwan Farouk, an American of Pakistani origin born in Chicago, on a dating website, and attorney for Farouk's family told reporters today. U.S. officials said Farouk could have met Malik or her family in Saudi Arabia during a trip there in fall of 2013. After another trip in 2014, Farouk returned to the U.S. with Malik in tow. The couple was married next month. Yeah, where are the wedding photos? Malik came to the U.S. and won his most fiancé via tow, which allows Americans to an American fiancé to petition for his or her partner's temp temporary entry before marriage. For the visa application, the address she listed in her Pakistani hometown, ABC News discovered today, does not exist. Yeah, you think? Malik received a her green card this summer, U.S. special side. Okay. Now we're going to cut through the bullshit. Well, I'm going to show you the photos because, uh, this is other... I got something to show you in a, in a going to uh, sit here and sit, scratch your heads. Hold on, I'll put this on hold and I'll bring up the photos. Okay, first thing is side by side. Uh, comparison of the husband and so-called wife. In my book, she looks like a guy. Uh... And they look awfully similar. Real similar. You think there could be something wrong here? You'll notice it, it gets worse, folks. It doesn't get better. It gets worse. Notice the, uh, her face is lighted. I say her in quotes, by the way. Just assume there's quotes. Notice her face is lighted very well, as a matter of fact. Um, uh, and there's no shadow behind her that I can see. No shadow on any wall. That's important. So it looks like this is a cutout picture, uh, from some place. Well, hold on, I got more to show you than this. It gets worse, believe me. Okay, here's a picture of her, Tashfeen Malik. 
and were expected to believe that this was his wife. All right. Well, what's wrong with this picture? Plenty. Once again, there's no shadow around. There's no shadow in back. She is standing in front of a white background with obvious lights. You can see lights reflected off of her face, so there should be some kind of a shadow behind her. There's nothing. Looks like a cutout photo, but like I said, it's going to get worse, folks. I'm bringing up the contrast so you can see us a little better. You know, tweak the brightness down a little bit. There's a heavy pattern. I'm going to see if the drawing tool will work. Last time it screwed up on me. I couldn't see it, but others could, apparently. There's a heavy pattern of scarring on the right side of the face here. Well, that can't be good. Um, this is supposed to be a relatively young woman who just had a child, and they were raising a child and living an idyllic life. Right? That's what we're told. But there's a very heavy pattern of scarring right there. And there's, it's undeniable. Why is this important? Well, how would a young woman like this get all that, just that heavy pattern of scarring on her face? If this is a woman, which I'm seriously doubting. Okay. So we're going to take that off. Right on the end of her nose is what looks like it might be a mole or something. I'm not too concerned with that. The other thing I've been looking at is lips and eyes. Again, we got problems here. Problems galore. Because it looks to me... There's uh, some distortion around here, as if maybe they've been photoshopped in. That's what I'm thinking. I deal with photos all the time, so to me, this looks photoshopped. Rats of composite. Yeah, interestingly enough, you see the shadows underneath a hijab or whatever that thing is. I think that's called a hijab. But it looks like this person is essentially bald. You can't make that conclusion, but that's what I'm guessing. Uh, there's something else I'm going to try to bring up and see if it'll show up. There's a substantial amount of distortion around the whole head. Around her, and that's her in quotes. There's a substantial amount of distortion as if this wasn't a photo taken anywhere. Uh, it's not a photo that was taken, it's a photo that was manipulated. That's what I'm thinking. Now there's a... I'm going to put on drawing tool again. There's a little shadow... Right there. I don't know if it's a shadow, bug, or what it is. The, whatever it is appears to be on the wall. Behind. this person. My guess is when I'm looking at this what 
what I'm thinking is I uh, took a picture from the internet, and I don't think it's of her. Uh, and put it uh, against, cut it out, put it against white background. I could do that if I really wanted to uh, with GIMP. I think they took it, put it up against the white background, and then tried to tell us that this is a picture of his wife. I'm giving this 70-30 odds that this is a hoax. At least 70-30 odds. I think I'm being pretty generous. We'll undo this again. The other interesting thing, I'll do the drawing tool again to look at, is right there, it looks like a thread or something. It might just be a thread from the hijab, I don't know, but it's some kind of a white streak. I found that interesting, not a huge revelation. The biggest revelation is how in living dickens would a young woman like this have all that scarring on her face? If this is a woman, which I'm seriously doubting. You know, how's, how does this happen that she has all this scarring on her face? On the right side. Well, something isn't right. So I'm going to tell you, in my opinion... Uh, this photo is a hoax. I can't fully prove it or anything, but I think we're being being given a line of BS. I'll bring up the contrast again, brightness down. To me, this look like, looks like a dog and pony show. I have no reason to believe that this photo is genuine. And every reason to believe that it's probably photoshopped in. They probably took an image, like I said, and put it against a white background and expected that to impress us. Uh-uh. Not I. I'm not impressed. Sorry if that disturbs people. I'm sorry if you think that, well, our facts gone off deep in. There we have a photo. They provided it. That, that was his wife. She, this 90-pound woman, picked up a rifle, went off and shoot, shot a bunch of people to death along with her husband. And that's the story, and we're sticking to it. Screw you, people. I'm all done. In fact, I tried talking to a local talk show host, Bob Lonsberry, about this. Uh, Bob Lonsberry uh, was sent to some kind of a re-education camp years ago because some black mayor made up a story that he, he had said something racist on the air. There's something, some comment about monkeys and... Uh, mayor Bill Johnson, former Mayor Bill Johnson of Rochester, had him sent to a re-education camp. That's on record. I don't know all, all what Lonsberry went through, but when he came back, he was liberal and he was a total debunker of everything. So he went through re-education. That's really sad. I would say, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking hoax. This does not look like a woman. And there's too much scarring on the face. Hoax. In fact, there seems to be a little scarring right around the lips, too. 
folks, Photoshop job. In fact, I'm going to show one more thing before I go. Something I just noticed. Look at this area around the lips. Now I brought the contrast way up and brightness down. That's a dark area right there around the lips. And the lips are nice and bright and pink. Could that be facial hair? I don't know. I'm just pointing that out. My thinking is this is probably a hoax, so I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.